Welcome to another video, and today I want, kind of want to talk about how ridiculous it is watching the regular news try and report computer things, because really most of the times they don't really know what they're talking about, and they're just reading off of their teleprompter and hoping that, hey, the rest of the world kind of understands it. But I can guarantee you most of those hosts really do not understand it. And that's one of the very many reasons that I don't really pay attention to regular news. I only pay attention to technology and science news because that's what interests me. I don't care what Trump's doing today. But this video is kind of a little bit about that because today I kind of wanted to touch on the fact that everybody's saying that these Russian hackers are the ones that Trump was involved with. But if you look at it this way, people don't like when you get hacked, and I'm sure that there are certain laws and stuff like that that would get you in trouble for doing things like that. So if you're going to do that, there are certain steps that you can take in order to protect your anonymity and to make sure that you don't get caught. And things like that are like VPNs. So if I was going to hack something, even though I live in the city of Calgary, I am going to route my my internet traffic through a VPN so that it appears that I'm somewhere else. So essentially, I could use a VPN that purposefully does not keep any logs because if the VPN keeps logs, well then you could backtrack it. And essentially what you would do is you would route it through, let's say I would choose to route it through Toronto and then I route it from Toronto, route it to California, then from California, route it to Germany and then route it through Sweden and then route it through Russia and then route it through wherever the heck else I want. But if I stop at the Russia point, then yes, it looks like the hack is coming from Russia. When in fact it wasn't, it was coming from somewhere else in the world, but you have no way of tracing it back. So then Russia gets blamed. Like if I was going to hack something, yes, I would pretend I'm, I'm going to be in Russia because it's really entertaining watching the news blame Russia for everything when I don't actually believe that the hackers actually reside in Russia because why would they deny it? Like if you're going to if you're going to accuse someone saying that, "Oh, you hacked this and I know the hackers are from Russia." Why would you deny them? You would just say, "Yeah, of course. Oh no, yeah, you got me. I'm in Russia." Why would you tell them no? And it's just so entertaining just seeing the news try to be like, "Yes, the hackers are coming from Russia." No, the IP address is coming from Russia. There's just a VPN server that they've been using. Like Provide some real evidence that these hackers are in fact based in Russia. Like, come on. And it's just really entertaining watching the news kind of talk about that. And I, I just find it hilarious. I, maybe I'm just a terrible person that finds things like that funny, but that's, that's what I find hilarious. There are many other uses and more legitimate uses for VPNs that are non-malicious. Like, you can use that if you're using... A lesser known VPN, you can, you used to be able to use VPNs to access Netflix and then browse Netflix from different countries. And Netflix has kind of made certain measures to prevent people from doing that. There are still roundabout ways to kind of get around that. The main reason why they're able to block it is because most of the time you're connecting to a VPN service and you're using a shared IP address, which is a unique identifier to that specific server that you've routed into. So the moment that you've done that, Netflix has already flagged that IP address being like, nope, you can't do that. But if you set up your own, like if you happen to have a friend in the United States, you could be like, hey, can I VPN into your network so I can access US Netflix? I'll set it up so you can VPN into my Canadian Netflix. Like as long as you have friends in these places, you could do that and access Netflix from any country that you want to, provided that you have a friend there or you buy hosting there or something like that. There might be certain hosting providers that won't like if you do things like that, but eh. Only one way to find out, read the terms of service. Now that you know this information about the fact that anyone that would actually know anything about hacking would actually at least route their traffic not from the country they live in, do you actually think that the, the, the hackers that were involved in this Trump thing are actually from Russia? And yeah, that pretty much sums up this video. Thank you for watching, I will see you next week. Don't forget to have an epically awesome day. Bye!